Worldwind is an open source released under the NOSA license and the Apache 2.0 license, Virtual Globe. It was first developed by NASA in 2003 for use on personal computers and then further developed in concert with the open source community since 2004. As of 2017, a web-based version of Worldwind is available online. An Android version is also available. The original version relied on .NET Framework, which ran only on Microsoft Windows. The more recent Java version, Worldwind Java, is cross-platform, a software development kit SDK aimed at developers and, unlike the old .NET version, not a standalone virtual globe application in the style of Google Earth. The SDK includes a suite of basic demos, available at goworldwind.org. The Worldwind Java version was awarded NASA Software of the Year in November 2009. The program overlays NASA and USGS satellite imagery, aerial photography, topographic maps, keyhole markup language KML, and Collada files. On May 3, 2019, Worldwind will be suspended and all servers will be unavailable after that date. The SDK will still be available on GitHub, but without any technical support. Community-based mitigation efforts for dealing with the shutdown are available at Worldwind Earth. Topic. Overview Though widely available since 2003, Worldwind was released with the NASA Open Source Agreement license in 2004. The latest Java-based version was released in December 2016. As of 2015 a web-based version of Worldwind is under development and available online. An Android version is also available. The previous .NET based version was an application with an extensive suite of plugins. Apart from the Earth, there are several worlds Moon, Mars, Venus, Jupiter, with the four Galilean moons of Io, Ganymede, Europa, and Callisto, and SDSS imagery of stars and galaxies. Users could interact with the selected planet by rotating it, tilting the view, and zooming in and out. Five million place names, political boundaries, latitude, longitude lines, and other data can be displayed. Worldwind.net provided the ability to browse maps and geospatial data on the Internet using the OGC's WMS servers version 1.4 also uses WFS for downloading place names, import ESRI shapefiles and KML, KMZ files. This is an example of how Worldwind allows anyone to deliver their data. Other features of Worldwind.net included support for X, Direct X 3D polygon mesh models and advanced visual effects such as atmospheric scattering or sun shading. The resolution inside the U.S. is high enough to clearly discern individual buildings, houses, cars USGS digital ortho layer, and even the shadows of people metropolitan areas in USGS urban ortho layer. The resolution outside the U.S. is at least 15 meters per pixel. Microsoft has allowed Worldwind to incorporate virtual Earth high-resolution data for non-commercial use. Worldwind uses Digital Elevation Model (DEM) data collected by NASA's Shuttle Radar Topography Mission (SRTM), National Elevation Dataset (NED), and Advanced Spaceborne Thermal Emission and Reflection Radiometer (ASTER). This means one can view topographic features such as the Grand Canyon or Mount Everest in three dimensions. In addition, WW has bathymetry data which allows users to see ocean features, such as trenches and ridges, in 3D. Many people using the applications are adding their own data and are making them available through various sources, such as the Worldwind Central or blogs mentioned in the link section below. All images and movies created with Worldwind using Blue Marble, Landsat, or USGS public domain data can be freely modified, redistributed, and used on websites, even for commercial purposes. <laughs> Add-ons and plugins Worldwind can be expanded by using one of many add-ons, small extensions that add new functionality to the program. Possible types of add-ons Point layers, simple XML files displaying placemarks point of interest as icons 
trail layers, paths, routes, boundaries. Line features – XML with a list of points visualized as a line or wall. Polygon features – XML with a list of points visualized as a filled polygon flat or extruded. Model features – XML used to load 3D textured meshes. Place names – specific points such as cities, hills and buildings that are assigned text labels. Image layers – high-resolution imagery for various places in the world. Scripts – files that control camera movement plugins are small programs written in C# -sharp, VB or J# -hash which are loaded and compiled by Worldwind at startup. Plugin developers can add features to Worldwind without changing the program's source code. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Worldwind Java. The original recipe for Worldwind was restricted to Windows, relying on the .NET libraries and DirectX. A new SDK version has been developed in Java with JOGL referred to as Worldwind Java. The latest version was released in December 2016. This new version has an API-centric architecture with functionalities offloaded to modular components, leaving the API at the core. This makes Worldwind itself a plugin, so that it can be used as interchangeably as possible for example via Python. This refactoring exercise allows Worldwind to be accessed via a browser as a Java applet. A preview of the Worldwind Java SDK was released on May 11, 2007 during Sun Microsystems annual Java One conference. Since WWJ is an SDK, there is no single application, instead there are any number of applications using WWJ, each with different functionalities, created by government agencies and commercial developers from around the world. These applications include simple virtual globe viewers, satellite tracker, GIS platforms, photo editor, F-16 simulator, mission planning software and many more. Tutorials NASA WorldWind SDK Tutorial, 1. This tutorial was developed by the Institute for Geoinformatics from the University of Münster, Germany. It contains tutorials from setting up an eclipse environment with the WorldWind API to building polygons from linked open data geographic datasets. It contains important tips from beginners to advanced developers. Topic. Forks and clones WorldWindEJs is community-maintained fork of the NASA Web WorldWind SDK. This fork provides a release channel for builds based on the latest fixes and features from WebWorldWind's developed branch plus several cherry-picked enhancements from the WorldWind community. The WorldWindEJs project is available on GitHub and releases are available on NPM. Geoforge project contains a fork of the NASA WorldWind project. Geoforge provides open source software. It leads in a platform that manages geosciences data and uses WorldWind features to provide a display of geo-localized geosciences objects. Dapple is a fork of the NASA WorldWind project. It is an open source project created by developers at Geosoft. Dapple is aimed at geoscience professionals, and has features aimed at them, such as easy addition of WMS servers and a simpler UI very similar to Google Earth's. Server Viz is a customized version of WorldWind developed by IAGT for the server project. WW2D was a cross-platform, free and open-source application based on Java and OpenGL technologies and can be run on Microsoft Windows, Mac OS X, Linux x86 and, x86 and Solaris on Spark. WW2D uses images from WorldWinds servers. WW2D Plus One, an update to WW2D providing a 3D view. Punt was a fork of the NASA WorldWind project, and was started by two members of the free software community who had made contributions to WorldWind. 
Punt was based on the code in Worldwind 1.3.2, but its initial release has features not found in Worldwind 1.3.2 or 1.3.3 such as support for multiple languages. Currently, Punt is only available for Windows, but long-term goals include a desire to move to a cross-platform solution. Datasets available Low-resolution blue marble datasets are included with the initial download. As a user zooms into certain areas, additional high-resolution data is downloaded from the NASA servers. The size of all currently available data sets is about 4.6 terabytes. Topic Earth Animated Data Layer Scientific Visualization Studio Modus Globe NRL Real Time Weather Image Terrain Datasets Blue Marble Next Generation Imagery Landsat 7 Imagery NLT Landsat Visible and Pseudo Color GeoCover 1990 and 2000 Pseudo 1990 Layer was produced from Landsat 4 and 5 Images Own Earth Visible and Pseudo I Cubed Visible USGS Imagery Digital Ortho DOQ Scanned Black and White Aerial image S urban area ortho montaged color aerial photography of many major U.S. metropolitan areas topographic maps zoom it imagery community produced layer lens montaged color aerial photography of New Zealand GSWA topographic and geological maps of Western Australia South Africa color satellite and aerial imagery U.S. imagery montaged color aerial photography of many major U.S. metropolitan areas SRTM S SRTM 30 plus, SRTM V2, USGS NED terrain data includes bathymetry. Topic: Extraterrestrial datasets. Topic: Moon. Clementine 40xx, color 30xx, grayscale. Hypsometric map. Topic Mars. Mach Mars Global Surveyor Mars Orbiter Camera. Mola MGS Mars Orbiter Laser Altimeter Hypsometric Map. Themis Mars Odyssey Thermal Emission Imaging System. MDIM Viking Mars Digital Image Model. Topic Venus Magellan Imaging Radar Color Grayscale Hypsometric Map Topic Jupiter Jupiter Callisto Europa Ganymede Io Topic Sloan Digital Sky Survey Survey Imagery SDSS Server WMAP Image Server Footprint Imagery SDSS Footprint First Faint Images of the Radio Sky at 20 cm Footprint Topic Specifications Baseline resolutions 500 meters blue marble next generation 15 meters landsat imagery except for polar areas typical high resolution su s usgs digital ortho 1 meter grayscale near full coverage usgs urban area ortho 0.25 meters zoom it 0.15 meters to 1 meter new zealand Zoom it from lens data 2.5 meters color and grayscale Western Australia Zoom it from GSWA 250k surface geology mosaic 250k topographic data magnetic intensity Bouge gravity South Africa Zoom it spot 5 10 meters color near full coverage Robin Island 0.5 meters Johannesburg 2.5 multitude resolution US 30 meters 1 arc second USGS ned global 90 meters 3 arc seconds SRTM 
Oceans, two Arcminutes and Betteridge. Some USGS aerial images were taken in the early 1990s. Landsat 7 images are all taken after 1999 except for GeoCover 1990. See also